Well, if you're like me, then you know it can be difficult to have a positive conversation with someone about religion or sexual orientation. You used to be able to talk to someone about the weather or their health, but with vaccinations and global warming, nothing is easy. And these cross-cultural dialogues are difficult because people strongly invest themselves in their cultural identities and can struggle to relate to someone from a different cultural background. Sometimes we let these cultural differences create barriers and feelings of isolation. This is why my thesis looks at how to break down barriers with cultural humility. Cultural humility, or being humble about a person's culture, originated in the medical field to help doctors better treat their patients. And they did this by first recognizing their own biases, acknowledging their limitations, and then focusing on the other person rather than themselves. Essentially, cultural humility looks at the person in front of them and asks, what is it about this person that makes them special and unique? So in my thesis, I gathered 555 participants that identified as lesbian, gay, or bisexual, and asked them to fill out an online survey with questionnaires about their religious commitment, health, and the participants' perceptions of their religious community's cultural humility. And what I found was that being highly committed to my religion was associated with some positives and some negatives. The positives included increased satisfaction with my life and more meaning in my life. But being more committed to my religion was also associated with some negatives, such as having increased experiences of discrimination and more internal negativity about my LGB identity. And if participants had religious or spiritual struggles, the results got worse. With participants having increased depression, anxiety, and feelings of isolation. However, all of these negative outcomes were reduced or negated when the participants perceived their community to be high in cultural humility. High levels of cultural humility was associated with less depression, less anxiety, and a greater sense of belonging. Moreover, cultural humility was associated with having a positive LGB identity, such as having more self-acceptance. By simply practicing cultural humility, we saw religious communities were able to be a resource for LGB individuals by creating a safe space, or better yet, a brave space, to allow them to cope and feel like they truly belong. In short, we see cultural humility allows us to break down barriers. Thank you.